Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're just gonna be doing a little gear review on the ANA combat pants. But before we get into that, it's time to acknowledge today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Acre Gold. Acre Gold is a gold subscription service where you send the money and they give you gold in return. Come on, you guys. Take a lesson from an old man. Don't spend it. Invest. In what? In gold. That's you, go check them out, and big thank you to them for supporting this channel. But with that out of the way, guys, let's get into this video. So I realize that these are not blue jeans and you know, as the blue jean operator, what the hell am I doing reviewing combat pants? So I bought these for a LARP. Uh, not too long ago, I went to Milsim West. If you haven't seen my video on it, Milsim West is a multi-day military simulation airsoft game with two factions. You got NATO, and which is like all your US forces and like impressions on that type of stuff. And then you have Rus4, which is obviously all the Russian stuff. And I signed up for Rus4, so I needed to buy a bunch of like Russian kit and you know Russian camo and stuff like that. And I really didn't know a ton on that stuff you know i knew a little about the kit but really wasn't sure about like what was like kosher uh, kosher you know rust for camouflage um, but through some research i found that atax foliage green which i think is an awesome camouflage and totally um, under underappreciated here in the states but you know it's big over there and it is like an approved camouflage to use so i found these combat pants on amazon of all places um, from a company called ANA. So ANA is a Russian tactical gear company. So I dig the pattern. It's from a Russian company. So I was like, yep, uh, these would be good to go to use at Milsim West. And, you know, I saw the reviews on it, on these pants and the reviews seemed pretty good. And, you know, but I was still like a little apprehensive when it came to these about the quality because um, you know, I've heard the horror stories of different, like, kind of, like, knockoff cries and their, um, you know, how durable they were and how long they lasted. And, you know, these are knockoff cries. And so I was a little worried to actually use these prior to going to Milsim West because I didn't want them to rip and get ruined prior to the event that I actually bought them for. But... Me being me, um, I decided to say kind of like, fuck it. And I started wearing them, taking them out to the range, um, shot a video uh, doing the, during my AK setups video, was using these pants, use these at a couple different airsoft games locally. Then, you know, at Milsim West for three days straight or pretty much almost three days straight. And then out in the woods kind of hunting for a week. But through all of that, these pants have been great. Um, I've been highly impressed with just not over like just the quality and I don't know. Yeah, they're just really good pants. And I was ex I w really wasn't going into it with high expectations. I thought these things were going to rip on me and kind of ruin. But, you know, I'm pretty impressed with them so far. And I'm kind of basing my kind of impressions off this based off using cries for so long prior to actually getting these. So, you know, I spent a lot of time wearing cries, which these are obviously a knockoff of. So back here, just got some cry gen three pants, which I got when I was in the military. And I also have a couple pairs of cry gen twos. So got a, some gen two multicam cries right here. You can see they're really faded because I wore them a ton and then I also have another pair of Gen 2s right here, which uh, I kind of look like a fucked up version of Jared right now. Uh, so, yeah, so these were cut off my fucking body um, when I got yeeted by a hand grenade. But um, 
Essentially, when I was in, when I first got over to Ranger Battalion, they issued me the Gen 3 uh, cry pants. Those ripped on me during a training exercise. And then when I went to DX those pants, I got these Gen 2 cries in return because they had some in stock. And I think considered what I found and other people pretty much can, uh, you know, preferred the Gen 2s over the Gen 3s. Just in my opinion, I think they're a little bit more durable in the way they're made because I wore this one and this one kind of interchanged both of these two off and on over, you know, a couple years using them. And unfortunately, they had to cut these ones off me, but I really dug the Gen 2 cry pants. And it was actually kind of cool how I got these Gen 3s right here is that at the time they stopped issuing cries and started issuing the Patagonias. No one really liked the Patagonias, so everyone kind of stuck to their cries, but we got to keep our cries. So I hit up Cry and I was like, hey, this is what happened. Something sent them a picture of the, the destroyed pants and they were like, yeah, um, we'll go ahead and send you um, another pair free of charge. To, granted, it took like six months to get them, but still really cool on Cry to send me a pair of free pants after the other ones were destroyed. But yeah, really cool on them. Unfortunately, they couldn't send me another pair of Gen 2s because uh, they don't make them anymore. But what I do like about these um, ANA pants is that these are essentially direct copies of the Gen 2 uh, cry pants. And, you know, I'm out of the military now, so don't get issued this stuff. And I do appreciate that there's like a cheaper alternative to a Gen 2 kind of cry like pant because when I'm looking at these things, the stitching is almost identical where things are double stitched on these pants or double stitched on here and it looks identical, uh, almost identical. I'm sure if you like really got down to it, there are probably some differences. Like I can see maybe a little bit of the spacing of the stitches in the Velcro here, but so far, dig these pants. I think the only real difference I could see or I could feel is that material might be a little bit different. This one feels a little bit more like a BDU material, um, but yeah, definitely different than the Gen 3s. But yeah, overall good pants. And I say guys like, <laughs> you know, I'm not paid by ANA to do I bought these pants myself. Um, just a bunch of you guys kind of got in my DMs asking me, you know, about these pants, like where I got them, got them off Amazon. Pretty sure you can buy them off of different like Russian tactical gear company websites like Ray Shop. Um, you have to double check that. But got these ones off Amazon. I know they come in a di couple of different co uh, colors, such as multicam. Uh, also, you know, obviously Atex foliage green, and I do see them also in uh, Digi Flora, which honestly I think those look pretty cool. And kind of want to get a pair of mine, my own. But yeah, um, these. <laughs> I'd say that these ANA combat pants get my, you know, seal of approval. I think if you're looking for something that'll, uh, you know, serve you well in the big LARP, um, the ANA combat pants are a pretty good way to go. So that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Jean Operator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch, which helps support this channel. Also make sure to hit that notification bell and get down in the comment section and you know, if there's another piece of gear that you'd like to see me do a review on or test out or answer some questions for you, just let me know um, and I'll try to make it happen because I'm always looking for you know, new pieces of the kit to test out and uh, do videos on. So that's about it guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.